Um, so we focus on a disease called rheumatic fever, um, and this can lead to heart damage called rheumatic heart disease. So it's important to prevent rheumatic fever so that we can prevent rheumatic heart disease. Um, but there's no specific diagnostic test for rheumatic fever. So what our lab is doing is trying to um, improve the diagnosis of rheumatic fever. So they usually would use a combination of clinical symptoms as well as um, evidence of a preceding strep infection. So strep is a bacteria that actually causes rheumatic fever. So you need, we need to see that someone has seen a strep infection to be able to diagnose them. But it's not a very good test and so there's a lot of problems with it. And so our lab's trying to develop um, a way to measure the antibodies more efficiently to try and overcome some of those problems with the diagnosis. Um, so my work is making a technology that would quickly and accurately measure antibodies to um, the strep antigen and um, this will overcome some of the obstacles that current clinical labs face because they have two separate tests and it's um, just a bit time consuming and not very accurate. Strep and rheumatic fever mainly affect um, in New Zealand, Māori and Pacific children so there's a huge um, disparity, um, health disparity there. So. Um, it's really important that we can get onto this and help prevent rheumatic fever and rheumatic heart disease.